And that's where we find our Dave McKinley with this fun assignment today. Uh, not exactly talking to the animals like Dr. Doolittle, but finding out how our animals are going to react, right, Dave? How do you know I'm not talking to them, Melissa? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're not expecting any stampedes or anything like that, according to zoo officials, but we might observe some certain types of animals uh, do a little more than others. The, the birds might uh, quiet for a moment if it gets dark. The lions behind us are expected to be sleeping, if they do that at all, and perhaps some of the primates might be observant and uh, point. Uh, that, but that's uh, as far as they expect uh, any kind of real activity. Nonetheless, a lot of folks came to see if they could observe some of that. Meet the Maluchis of Minnesota. Talk about driving a distance, which I understand, uh, Brad, that you packed up the family and drove. We did. From Minnesota. Exactly. That was about a 14-hour drive, so we no, made it a road trip. Oh, no, you <laughs> crazy guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about why you thought that was important. So we've got family out here too, but we wanted to be in the path of totality yeah. also. We wanted to see the eclipse. Yeah. Um, seven years ago where we were at when the last eclipse was, it was a partial eclipse, but I wanted to see totality this time around, so okay. wanted to make the drive out here. Well, let, let me introduce you to the whole fam family. We've got uh, Isabella, uh, his niece, and we've got uh, Matthew here, and we've got Chris. We're going to start over here. Chris, first of all, from all of Buffalo, happy birthday, I understand, is in order. Yes, thank you. Just turned 16 Monday, so that was nice. So you could have, wow, a day earlier. We talk about a day earlier, a day earlier because it was sunny. A day earlier, you could have been doing some of the driving. Yes, I could have. Yeah. But <laughs> unfortunately, I have the test scheduled Thursday this week, so hopefully we'll pass then. Well, let me ask you a question. Um, what do you think what Dad said? I'm going to pack up the car and head to Buffalo. I mean, I was kind of with him on that idea. It was mm -hmm. like, you know... He said he wanted to be the path of totality. I remember seven years ago, uh, we saw it, and we were like, wow, this was really neat. Mm -hmm. And then we just wanted to have family, like you said, and yeah. wanted to come see it in its full. So. All right, great. And, and we've got um, um, uh, Matt, uh, this is Matthew here. Yes. Chris is here. Chris is 13. Yeah. What did you think about the idea of packing up and going? Um, I thought it would, it would be fun, and yeah. it's going well so far. Yeah. I think it's fun with family. And the zoo. All right. Well, hopefully, Isabella, do you think that uh, the giraffes might charge through the gates or anything like that? I hope not, but that would be pretty cool to see. I think it would be, too. I have to agree with you. Yeah. Um, and and you, you're, just, you're along for the ride. Yeah. All right. Well, you've been planning this for a long time. Yeah. yeah ever since, like, the last eclipse, so. Yeah. I didn't get your age. I'm 12. I think you're, like, 16, aren't you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, you know, Brad, I got to say, if anyone thinks it's unusual to uh, pack up the family and go, I got a, I got a true confession right here for you. Seven years ago, uh, I live here, and uh, I looked at my two boys who were at the time, I think, 16 and 11 or something like that, right. 15 and 10, and said, we're going. We drove to a little town called Sparta, Tennessee, in the middle okay. of nowhere, right. and yeah. we did it ourselves. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay here in Buffalo. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's been great so far. That's All right. great. Great yeah. city. So, and, and, yeah. and, and what else did you do while you were here? Did the falls? Yeah. We did that? Did the Anchor Bar, of course. So we just checked out some of the sites. So. Yeah. That's just for our friends at the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you yeah, very much for speaking bad. with us. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. So we're going to be here at the Buffalo Zoo throughout uh, the time of the eclipse. And as it gets closer, we'll see if some of the animals are acting uh, a little unusual. Back to you. <laughs> and Dave, it's, it's fine if you talk to the animals. It's a problem if they're talking back. That's when you got to wonder. Yeah.